What's going on, folks? Bill Jr., Pure Cage and Outdoors. We back with something different. Again, today, a little cooking recipe. A little cooking. First time I've eaten this, right? So, some of y'all may remember Anthony from Guam. He was on a video a few weeks back. We did a deer liver keleguin. We made that up. Uh, if not, I'll post the link in the description. Y'all can go back and check it out. But anyways, we ended up getting some parrot fish from him. Never had it, never cooked it, never tried it. So, I kind of set out on my own. Followed this recipe I kind of found online. A couple tips and tricks here and there. Baked it up, came out great. It's probably one of my top three favorite fish that I've eaten now so far. Never had it before, parrot fish. Some people I believe like in Hawaii call it uhu. I know I probably said that wrong. I apologize ahead of time. But anyways, y'all check us out. Check us out on TikTok, Pure Cajun Outdoors across all social media platforms. PureCajunOutdoors at gmail.com if y'all need to reach us. Next week, we're going to probably have some more cooking, some more rabbit hunting. We've been still going out there, so y'all stay tuned. Videos are coming. We've been doing good, man, once a week. Drop some comments down below, though, if y'all have had this parrot fish before. And if y'all have, how have y'all had it cooked? Y'all gonna see how I cook this one, but anyways, drop some comments below if y'all had it. Let me know how you prepared it. How did you like it? Where does it rank in your top fish category, fish that you like to eat? Anyways, Pure Cajun Outdoors, y'all be good. Catch y'all on the next one. South Louisiana, baby, that's what we out here for. We got us some onion, we cut up in quarters. We'll put that up in there. Rosemary. A little crushed red pepper. Italian seasoning. Some oregano. A little thyme, some garlic, I'll take this old immersion blender, pop it in. Good old Cajun season. Some of them are almost coming out of there. If y'all could smell this right here, man, that smells good. All right, folks, we got us some beautiful, beautiful, as y'all can see, parrotfish. I hope y'all can see that real good. So we got us some real nice parrotfish here. They've already been gutted. We got the heads on. We're going to trim them up a little bit more. Take some of these tails off right here. We don't need all of that. on there
All right, so we got our uh, scales off of them. We got our fins pretty much off of them. Look at these little side ones, it's okay. Beautiful fish. So once again, this is some parrot fish. I believe down in the islands of Hawaii, they call them uhu. Uh, we're gonna give these things a try, man. We got a, once again, y'all may remember Anthony from a few videos back when we was doing Deer Liver Kelleguin from the island of Guam. That's where these fish were provided from, from him. Straight from Guam, out of the Pacific. Never had them before. Watched a few recipes, got some tips. And this is how we're going to try to cook these things up. So, once again, they're completely prepared. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make us a couple slices. We're going to do these with the skin on, right? So we're just going to make us some slices down to the bone. That way when we get ready to sit there and put some seasoning on these bad boys, everything will go nice and smooth. All right, all right, we got our fish sliced up. We good. Now what we about to do is we're gonna put this on a rack. So let me get my rack. We'll get these fish put on here that way I don't have to mess with the, with the fish once I marinate them. And we're gonna go back to that marinade that we made earlier. All right, there we go. We got our fish on a rack. Now, y'all remember our marinade that we made? This is a Caribbean style marinade that I kind of looked up on the internet uh, that I found. Just got some fresh herbs in it. We got some onions, we got some spices. And we just gonna kind of, let me get a spoon. Probably make life a little bit easier. We're gonna spoon some of this on there. And we're just gonna try to rub it in, get it in all these little crevices that we just made. We got olive oil on here, so it's gonna help. It's gonna help with the uh, the marinade sticking to it as well. It's gonna help crisping that skin up real good. Once again, we wanna get that seasoning in them cuts good because remember we are doing whole fish right here so when doing whole fish you want to get some of that seasoning and that flavor deep down to the bone now in the process of y'all doing this and y'all could have started this earlier i put my oven on 400 degrees that's what we got the preset at What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a little lemon juice down up in there. You gotta have a little lemon juice, right? Right there, we got us a piece of onion. Cut this off with a little parsley. All right, so we got everything marinated up, nice and seasoned, good to go. Now we're gonna take it with our oven at 400 degrees. Depending on how thick your fish are right here, we're gonna go 10 to 12 minutes on each side. When I flip them, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this to the other side whenever I turn them over, so that's how we're gonna do it. So y'all stay tuned, set y'all timers, 12 minutes, we'll be back. We're gonna check them in 10, but these are kind of thick, so within 12 minutes, we'll be back.
there we go folks looking good nice and uh crisp right here on the old jaw plates meat still a little soft so what i'm gonna probably do now that was at 10 minutes what i'm gonna probably do is slide them back up in there for a couple more minutes and see if we can get this outside edge right here to kind of crisping up a little bit and uh catch y'all back in another two three minutes all right there we go this is looking a lot better got us a little crisp we doing good <clears throat> all right let's just grab them flip them over There we go. We got them flipped over. We're gonna go about 15 minutes on this side because that's about what we ended up having to do the other side. And uh, y'all stay tuned. Here we go, folks. Fresh out the oven. I think we're gonna be all right with this one, y'all. Now I will say this. I'm almost certain this one is not a parrot fish. The teeth in the mouth it's more likely to be some sort of snapper. This one here, guaranteed to be a parrot fish. We got the, the beak, I've had snapper before I recognized them teeth. It was hard to see until he started cooking and then you can really sit there and start seeing. So let's spin this around, let's check out this uh, curtain. Real flaky meat, y'all check this out. Right off the bone, that's where it's at, right there. Doesn't get no better. Put that back right there. We're gonna sit there and whip us up a little fish tacos to try this with. Y'all stay tuned. Let me show y'all some tacos real quick. Man, super white meat. Nice and flaky. Just comes right off the bone. How can y'all go wrong with that? Parrot fish. Sheesh. All right, here we go, folks. Now, for y'all asking, I've been doing this thing called Keto Diet for a while now. So, the wraps, is keto-friendly wraps, zero carbs per wrap, zero net carb per wrap. We got some parrot fish and some snapper. We got some hot sauce on there, followed up by a side of some nice avocados. We're going to make this happen, folks. I think this is going to be delicious. What's going on, folks? Big Junior, Pure Cajun Outdoors. We just got done cooking some parrot fish and some sort of snapper, right? Got it hooked up. Didn't know really what side dish I wanted to do. I wanted this to be about the fish though. It's my first time cooking it. Shout outs to Anthony getting them back from Guam. So what I did was I made some, uh, I guess you can call them a fish taco, right? But except it's keto friendly uh, wraps. Zero grams of net carbs per wrap. That's what I'm on, been on it for a while now. We'll do some videos about that in the near future. Uh, so that's what we got right here. So we are gonna try this parrot fish out on a wrap with some hot sauce. Got some avocado on the side. Y'all don't need to see that. Y'all know what avocado is. Let's give this a try though. Now the wraps are keto friendly, but they're uh, chipotle flavored. So let's go. Some good parrot fish on there. Indeed, with some hot sauce. Let's give it a shot. It was delicious. Didn't really know what to expect. I've never eaten this fish before. I've never seen this fish before. <laughs> so it, it, it's it's a great fish though, great flavor. It's not mild, it's not strong. Uh, it's, I say it's not mild. It's a very mild flavor, it's not strong. Like you know, some seafood can be kind of overpowering, overpowering depending on the type of fish it is. Great fish, mild, flaky, firm, which is a good thing for doing this type of food with it as well. So, man, look, y'all stay tuned. We, we're doing all kind of different stuff, though. So, y'all stay tuned. We'll be bringing y'all some more recipes. We just did parrot fish in South Louisiana, right? Fresh parrot fish at that. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Pure Cajun Outdoors across all social media platforms. Pure Cajun Outdoors at gmail.com. Catch y'all on the next one.